good evening y'all it's friday uh just finished up a pretty good fishing week probably one of the best weeks of hybrid fishing i've had in a long long time uh running live bait did get a little bit of top water action uh i did see a few fish get caught people trolling crankbaits uh people trolling some big swim baits they caught a few hybrids this week just trolling around on the flats and humps and stuff like that uh watch a lot of people try try and try throwing swim baits throwing spoons jigging spoons uh they caught some smaller fish did not see a lot of action caught seen it a couple caught on a rigs uh monday went i think it was monday it rained all day them fish busted on and off most of the day uh they they was really active up uh they caught them pretty much on everything that day uh as far as advice i can give you if it isn't working you're not catching fish change up uh switch what you're using switch what you're doing uh just keep trying i mean if you're seeing fish in big schools stick with them biggest thing i had this week uh that was mess messing up my fish Pe people can be look at this live scope in two different ways it it's a great tool to help you locate your fish i will guarantee you some of your crappie guys know it's spooking your crappie them hybrids are way more of a spookish fish than a crappie is all week long if when somebody pulls up next to me with live scope i can watch them fish go from that side of my boat and all go to the other side of my boat uh it's happened to me all week you will not see hardly any fish around them guys with live scope i run all hummingbird i i find all my fish on side scan and down scan uh that side scan is a really good tool. I turn my sensitivity way down. Uh, I run it on the lowest settings I can run, basically. Uh, they don't spook out near as bad. If you've got your fish finders turned way up, so they're pinging really hard, that live scope's pinging really hard, uh, them, them fish do not like it. Uh, if there was current in the lake, they wouldn't be spooking like they are now. Uh, that current kind of helps absorb some of that noise some of that ping uh there's no current dead water pretty much just you talking walking around in your boats enough them fish know you're there the shadow of your boat uh i ran two trips several days this week my first trip i could pretty much sit in one spot catch all the fish i needed and never even move the boat my second trip i had to do a ton of looking and searching because them other boats was out there uh, scattering them fish out if I could find a school of fish where there wasn't no boats I could sit there in one spot and catch them on my second trips uh, that's actually how I finished up my trips uh, it, it was pretty good I had one day midday couldn't hardly buy a fish but then come 4 four thirty, five o'clock it was just on fire again uh, I am starting to see a little bit of algae bloom these shatter chasing a lot of people are needing info on finding shad. Some days on the river, there's shad all over flipping. Like today, I drove across the bridge there by the shop. There was big shad flipping all over I could see. Uh, it's cloudy, overcast, mist and rain now. Uh, it wasn't misting at the time, but th I think that cloudiness had them shad up. Seems like some of them days it's been real sunny. They've been harder to find. They've been down deeper, staying down, scattered out. Uh, some of the coves are holding a few shad right now early mornings late evenings or night times the easiest time to catch the bait right now uh, everybody on the lake's really struggling you'll see the shad you get up close to them they're gone i i struggled yesterday for two and a half hours catching bait on my second trip uh and i was finding them i just could not get my net on them i've got an extra rope on my net uh throwing out as far as i can possibly throw my eight foot net to catch my bait right now 
uh, unless I go after dark and then it, it don't see the net and it don't spook out away from me near as bad. Uh, and I'm not using any front sonar. I'm visually seeing my shad with my own eyes. Uh, most of them are pretty shallow right now. The ones you're catching are going to be shallow. The ones deeper, if they're in over 20 foot of water on Truman right now, that water's so clear, you are not going to catch them. I'm struggling catching bait in over 10 foot of water right now because they're out swimming my net and spooking out, spooking out before that net ever gets over them. Uh, if you can find them algae blooms, there's a few coves I've found it in pretty good right now. Uh, that that is your best. That water's dingy, dirty, green, and shad get in there and stir up that algae and it turns it to mud. So them fish can't see it out swimming near as bad as them other fish that are in that clear water. Uh, there was a couple days this week that was in great big schools. The water was glass calm. You could see them swimming all over the top. Uh, I mean monster schools. Size of size are bigger than my boat. Uh, they was really hard to catch. I, I did. I had one of my clients ran the boat for me. He ran me up on them about as quick as he could. I threw as far out away from the boat as I could and I managed to catch bait that day pretty easy. They was bigger shad than what I wanted, but we made them work. There, there's a lot of big hybrids out there right now, so they ate them. They'd have all been perfect baits for catfishing. Uh, as far as crappie fishing this week, uh, I have watched crappie get caught off the tree rows out on the mud flats. I've watched crappie still get caught off the banks on the main lake uh, late evening, early morning. Uh, these these fish don't know what to do right now. They are in every pattern you can possibly fish. Uh, the guys pulling crankbaits, they've started catching a lot of crappie this last week. Uh, and I haven't heard any specific colors on them. Uh, still selling a lot of the pinks, pearls right now. Uh, the ones that look more like a shad, basically, because that water is so clear. But they're catching a lot of fish. Uh, I did get a little bit of a bass report yesterday for those guys out there bass fishing uh there's two different groups of guys come in the shop they say they're still fishing relatively shallow uh mostly around six to 12 foot and under uh, a lot of them said under six foot is what they was fishing some of them was throwing like the crawlers uh just carolina rigging them bouncing them back shallow uh few of them said they was throwing the shallower crankbaits so that that is kind of the pattern the bass are still in they haven't moved out deeper yet i'd say some of them are probably still on beds just like the crappie uh they usually spawn right right about the same time as crappie maybe right after uh white bass are still holding eggs several of the hybrids still holding eggs so not all the fish are done yet uh pretty well though most of them are as far as catfish i started picking up quite a few catfish out scattered on the mud flats while i'm hybrid fishing and some of them humps uh there's chad short he's still catching real good drift fishing down on the river uh, just suspend drifting with no current everybody oh they're not running current it's not worth going fishing no you guys them fish are going to eat right now. They're, them fish are fixing to go on the nest and, and spawn. Them fish are hungry. They are going to eat. Uh, they'll start spawning here anytime. Uh, probably in the next couple weeks, some of them will be on the nest. I'd say some flathead are probably already fixing to go on now. I had some 76, 78 degree water yesterday. Uh, they're talking like maybe some cold rain this evening. That might cool it off a couple degrees, but not too much uh these fish are already ready to do their thing a few catfish i cleaned this week was pretty full eggs so they're not far off uh back to the the crappie there jigs minnows hair jigs right now all you're seeing on the internet's hair jigs i still got clients coming in my shop or customers coming in my shop every day catching their limits of crappie just on minnows or just on slab busters or just on bobby garlands and then you get the guys in here all oh, got to have this specific color of 
hair jigger that's all the fish are biting on no you guys what you see these other guides do on trimming that's what's working for them the best that is not the only thing these fish are gonna hit uh same way like i said with the hybrids just get out there and change it up uh do what you got to do change things you know i haven't heard any colors right now i've been showing a lot of silvers a lot of blues uh blue ice with this clear water is a really good color the albino shad and the bobby garland's been real good uh some some grays stuff like that not the real bright colors right now monkey milk's still doing good uh a lot of different colors right now are working no one color is working better than any other same way with the crankbaits you know the light pinks uh the whites the pearls silvers them are always going to work good in that clear water uh that's really about all i've got for you uh as far as the fishing report this week i think i pretty much covered everything your white bass are traveling around on the mud flats uh same thing if you can get on a good school you can catch them on the jigging spoons i've been catching a ton of them this week on the small live shad them three four inch shad they're just inhaling and i've had several white bass this week over two pounds i had one two days ago those 2.9 pounds that's a monster white bass for trimming uh that's that's really all i've got for you guys i hope this helps you out fishing this weekend if you need any supplies or anything our bait shop is almost fully stocked i mean we're sitting on really really good inventory flicker shad bandits uh bombers or all the crankbaits oh one other thing i about forgot to mention is walleye the, the last week week and a half they've started catching walleye pretty good uh one of the most asked questions i see on the internet on truman how do you catch these walleye you guys most people overthink them I catch them all the time when I'm catfishing or hybrid fishing. Uh, they're, they're scattered all over them flats. If you can find any of them flats right now, I would say in 4 to 12 foot of water, that's where 90% of your walleye are going to be right now. They're not going to be any deeper right now. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of your white bass and hybrids, they're running right there shallow too. Some are starting to go deeper this week because they think they're done spawning uh them walleyes normal summer pattern is six to 12 foot of water uh that pretty much that'll get you through till july august they'll start going a little bit deeper you know but try to get to that cooler water uh the the best thing i've heard is night crawler harnesses we've got a really good stock of them in the shop a couple different brands uh just rigging up with the night crawler harness dragging it really slow across the bottom like 0.5 mile an hour that that catches fish you're going to catch drum white bass occasional hybrid walleye catfish everything doing that next pull them crankbaits you know any crankbaits that'll dive 8 to 12 foot or 9 to 12 foot uh your flicker shed bandits wiggle warts a uh, buddy of mine passed away a couple years ago his favorite bait for walleye trolling on Lake of the Ozarks was wiggle warts. Uh, and, and that's one people don't use much anymore, but he was one of the best walleye fishermen Warsaw had seen. He caught more than anybody I know, and that was primarily his main bait because they'll dive a little bit deeper. They dig harder when you're pulling them. If you haven't, you can just watch that rod tip just sit there and pound. Uh, they dig really hard, make a lot of vibrations, a lot of noise. They do really good. Uh, just go out there, your crankbaits, you know you're going to want to pull them, I would say from like 1.2 to 1.6 mile an hour, a little bit, quite a bit faster than your crawler harnesses. Uh, your best bets, your trolling motor, you know, if you got a good trolling motor. Uh, I watch some people troll with their big motor, and I'm pretty sure they're just going too fast for the walleye. Some of them will put out buckets, slow you down, but you got to think if you're in six foot of water or eight foot of water, then buckets are spooking the heck out of them fish. So's your big motor. Uh, your, a lot of your guys that are really good at walleye fishing, you know, they just run their run their trolling motor. You know, pull them crankbaits or crawler harnesses with it. Uh, 
I, I have graphed a lot of walleye this week in five to eight foot of water. Several different areas on the lake. I graphed some on KK. A uh, couple other areas I've been on hybrid fishing. They, they've got walleye on them right now. A lot of drum. You're going to catch them no matter what. Uh, catfish, channel cat. You're going to catch them pulling the crankbaits. Uh, if you do get into pulling crankbaits, you're going to catch every species of fish on the lake. Uh, everybody that just wants to catch fish, they don't quite have a plan. That's that's the route I send them this time of year. Get you some crankbaits, go pull them. You're going to catch crappie, white bass, catfish, drum, occasional walleye. If you find them walleye, stick with them. They stay to the same areas. Uh, you ain't got to go troll all over the lake. If you catch walleye in one spot, stick with it. There's more of them there. Uh, that real shallow hump right beside the mile long bridge it's like five six seven eight foot of water it's got fish on it right now i can tell you there in kk is two really good spots to target right now for walleye i have graphed walleye on both spots in the last week uh and you if you haven't ran a fish finder a lot i, I strictly run side scan to find all my fish then walleye are going to lay in pairs they're going to stack Almost nose to tail, just staggered a little bit. And you might see two two or three together, four or five together. Uh, during, during the winter time, some of the creeks I catfish in, you might see 10 or 12, 10 or 12 of them stacked together like that. Uh, that's kind of a good way to, to tell that they're walleye is just the way they stack together. Uh, a lot of people don't know that. A lot of people don't know when catfish are in a major feeding frenzy, if you've ever seen it, uh, when, there, when there's a mayfly hatch, them catfish stand on their tail. Uh, they look straight up. They look up above them. Uh, blue cat, primarily. So, if you see a bunch of fish on the bottom that's standing up, looking up, primarily that's going to be a feeding blue cat. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of people don't know that. A lot of them will look like they're kind of dug in the mud with their heads sticking up. That's catfish looking up for something to eat. Uh, if I see that during the summertime, that's exactly what I want to drift fish on. Uh, this summer, once everything kind of gets slowed down, I'll do some more videos on on kind of what I'm looking for on my fish finder. Maybe show some videos actually of my, me graphing. Uh, I, I got that new Helix 12. It's got just an awesome picture. It helps you kind of define your fish out better. Uh, just because them catfish are laying flat or something like that don't mean they won't eat. But if you get into a school of them that are really feeding hard on something, most of the time they're going to be arched looking upward. Uh, and a lot of them, a lot of them like with the ones I'm catching out, hybrid fishing, you know, those fish are suspended. Most of the catfish I'm catching right now are not on bottom. A lot of them are, you know, might only be five to eight foot down in 20, 25 foot of water. Uh, those fish on the graph are going to be standing up mostly uh, because they're looking up. They're trying to find something. They can see that light up above them. They can see when a little fish swims swims over the top of them, and they can target it better. Uh, that That's all I've got now. I, I about forgot the walleye, but I did want to mention that. I had several people in the shop already this morning talking about them. Uh, hopefully, I can get this video to post fast enough. You guys can see it before this weekend. Uh, have a good one, y'all, and I appreciate everything. I appreciate all the good feedback I'm getting. Uh, that's all I've got for you. Thank you very much. Uh, share it, like this, share it, subscribe if you haven't. I appreciate it. Thank you.